Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, let's uh get into one of these Am I the A Hope? All right, and I saw this one over on TikTok. So everything that I'm saying in this video is in my opinion. I'm not making any kind of claim or rendering any judgment. I'm just merely reporting my opinions of the situation. The Copyright Act of 1976, Section 107, gives me fair use of this material. So let's get into it. So the question says, am I the a-hole for not giving my husband my escape money when I saw that we were financially struggling? I, 34 a female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband, 37 male. And I'm curious about if I am the a-hole here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and told me about setting aside money as a rainy day slash escape fund if worse came to worse. My husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset. But the way my mother talked about it, it seemed like a no-brainer to have. When me and my husband got together, we agreed I would be a stay-at-home wife. We are both child-free, so that was never a concern. My husband made a comfortable mid-six-figure salary. All was good until about two years ago, he was injured at work in a near-fatal accident. Between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost, that ate up nearly all of our savings. I took a part-time job while my husband was recovering, but when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into me being unemployed as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. He is currently, he currently is working two full-time jobs and Ubers on his off days to keep us afloat. Here is where I might be the a-hole. I do all the expense managing and have continued to put money into my escape account, although I significantly decrease from $750 a month to just $200 a month. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because the stress of work was going to take him out. I told him downsizing would not be an option as I had spent years making our house a home and offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but he basically told me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw that I had regular reoccurring withdrawals leading back years and asked me about it. I broke down and revealed my money to him, which now sits at about $47,000. After I told him all this, he just broke down sobbing. His point of view is I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years, even when he was at his lowest. I told him that money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner and not specific to him. He left the house to stay with his brother and said I hurt him on every possible level. But my mom says this is exactly what the money is for and that I should bail now. Am I the a-hole? Y'all, that's crazy. This man is working three jobs. You said that he was working two and he Ubers on the weekend sometimes. That's three jobs to keep y'all afloat as you said. But you sitting on $47,000 in your escape fund. And it sounds to me like y'all trying to escape the bills. You didn't even offer like, look, I take care of this bill. Or even if you didn't want to tell him that you had, you could have said that you was going to borrow some money from your mom. I, I don't <laughs> look. To each their own. If you feel like that you need to have some money hidden away, do you. Because if you go back to Love and Marriage Huntsville, even Tisha had a secret savings account that Marceau didn't know about. But when he found out about it, he wasn't too happy. But like I said, to each their own. But it's the fact that he he's trying to continue to give y'all the lifestyle that you had before 
the accident. But in order to do that, he has to work three jobs and it's not even coming close because for him to tell you, even with you going to get a part time job, it ain't going to be enough. That's why he wanted to downsize. That's the, the yeah, I really want to know what y'all think about this. Like, do you think that she is the a-hole for not helping to get them out of the hole and she's sitting on for seven thousand dollars? Or do you feel like that's her forty seven thousand dollars? Is is it her? Do you feel like it's her forty seven thousand dollars because what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours? Or do you think she earned it because she's the housewife? Do you think that she is wrong for not telling him about it? Like I really want to know what y'all think about this. So please get down in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and let's have a conversation about this. And please remember to be respectful. Don't be trying to get cute and talk crazy to folks because I'm going to have to get you up out of here. We don't want that type of energy over here, okay? So let's just talk about this because I really want to know what y'all think. Because this, <laughs> y'all struggling basically, right? And you send on 47 k Then you said you decreased it significantly <laughs> from 750 to 200 And this man working three jobs and he probably confused in about how am I still coming up this short? Like what, what am I doing wrong putting in all these hours but it's still not enough to make ends meet? Mm -hmm. And you did not want to offer any money and you did not want to downsize. This yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y'all get down in these comments, please, and let's talk about this. And I'll talk to y'all later.